Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. According to statistics compiled by Catholic exorcists, the incidence of demonic possessions has reportedly remained constant over the past decades, accounting for approximately 0.00-295% of the general population. However, Mirjana highlighted a significant rise in other forms of demonic influence, particularly possession. Speaking about spiritual warfare at the renowned St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York on January 26, she expressed concern, stating, rates of diabolical possession are on the rise. Mirjana attributed the surge in demonic possession and oppression to the increase in morally questionable activities, emphasizing that every mortal sin is an open door to possession. Notably, she pointed out that the decreasing holiness among members of the church is a contributing factor. The challenges in liberating individuals from possession have intensified over time, with Mirjana noting a remarkable increase in the average time required. She explained, prior to 1963, the average time to free someone from full possession was one to two days, maybe a week. After 1963, what used to take one to two days took eight months to two years to free the average person. Now, on average, it takes four years for someone to be freed completely, she identified two main reasons for this prolonged duration the heightened malevolence in the world and the increased potency of demons. Additionally, Mirjana highlighted the significance of the holiness of individuals in the Catholic Church, emphasizing that it directly influences the effectiveness of exorcisms. She introduced the concept of ex opere operantis ecclesia, underscoring that the holiness of the Church members plays a crucial role in the efficacy of his prayers during exorcism sessions. Mirjana concluded by explaining how demons function hierarchically, akin to an army, making it easier for them to oppress individuals, families, and the church. In a state of chaos, everything becomes a struggle for grace and virtue, as the theologian expounded on the idea that God permits demonic influence in our lives to call us to a higher level of holiness. One of the primary reasons God allows demons in our lives is for our sanctification. When we resist them, it is considered a credit in God's eyes and elevates our position in heaven. Explained the theologian, quoting St. Paul, he emphasized, take hold of the old serpent and win the crown of glory. The theologian highlighted that our possessions in heaven are limited to two things, the state of grace in our souls and our virtue. He underscored the ongoing spiritual struggle initiated when Adam and Eve deviated from God's authority in the Garden of Eden placing themselves under Satan's dominion. Christ sets everyone free, emphasized Mirjana, clarifying that it is Jesus Christ who liberates people from demonic possession. She stated, I am not releasing anyone. Christ sets everyone free. Once people asked me how many people I freed, I said nothing, but I was present where Christ set many people free. Mirjana outlined the most effective ways to combat demons, leading an authentic Catholic life, avoiding sin and temptation, steering clear of influences that may lead to a fall, regular reception of the sacraments, and maintaining a consistent prayer life. She highlighted the power of prayer, using imagination and thought to flood the mind with holy things, making it undesirable for demons attempting to tempt. Delving into the unique holiness of Our Lady, Mirjana shared insights from an exorcism where Beelzebub revealed why the Mother of God is distinctively holy. She sacrificed her whole life without considering personal cost. Unlike angels who only have one choice for sacrifice, her continuous selfless acts make her extraordinary, he concluded. Regarding Satanists and witches, Mirjana clarified that those operating openly are typically low-level individuals in satanic cults, while high-level Satanists and witches remain concealed in the shadows, never revealing their identities. She explained, Satanists and witches who are public are always at best mid-level people. They are usually low-level people who are involved in the occult. People at a high level in the occult, individuals with a lineage of witchcraft spanning 300 to 400 years, possess knowledge nearly equivalent to mine. They are well versed in the workings of these practices, understanding which rituals yield specific effects. These individuals could be sitting next to you in a pew, serving as a police officer, a judge, or even your local baker. 
Despite appearing normal and kind, they are engaged in a hidden cult-like form of occultism, as its secrecy enhances the efficacy of their actions, Mir Janna likened Satanism to the Mafia, emphasizing the strict code of entry and exit, blood in and blood out. Once involved, escape is often impossible, with the cult's private nature stemming from the commission of capital crimes that would be intolerable if revealed. Keeping it hidden allows them to operate without public scrutiny, she concluded. In a concluding uplifting message, Mir Janna highlighted the opportunity for individuals to pursue holiness despite the prevailing darkness. She assured that even amid apparent turmoil within the church, the promise remains that the gates of hell will not prevail. Acknowledging the abundance of sin, Mir Janna drew on scripture to assert that where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. This, she explained, signifies an unprecedented time for those faithful to God to attain holiness. Mirjana encouraged individuals to seize the grace offered by God, emphasizing that in these challenging times, remaining faithful to grace presents a unique opportunity for personal holiness. She shared the sentiment of saints who foresaw the challenges of the present era, expressing a desire to live in a time of such heightened holiness and grace. The key, according to Mirjana, lies in unwavering faithfulness to grace, underscoring that the chance to become a saint is present for those who remain committed and faithful in unprecedented times like these. Seize the opportunity, Mirjana affirmed, that God has given you. The spiritual battles faced in this life will contribute to eternal glory in heaven. Overcoming demons in one's own life earns a crown of glory. As every family contends with them, affecting each individual, by triumphing over these challenges, one earns recognition in heaven, a testament to their victorious struggle. Mirjana encouraged, fight, and it will be to your glory. She emphasized the present as a time with unparalleled potential for holiness, surpassing opportunities of times gone by. This era provides a unique chance to secure a higher place in heaven, unattainable in previous periods, therefore, she urged, don't miss this opportunity that God has given you.